Hey Questers, happy Halloween and welcome back to our final episode of Questober here on BMF. Before we get started, I have a key for the Exorcist Legion VR to give away. If you want to win the key, all you have to do is comment below with either what your costume you're wearing for Halloween this year is, or your favorite costume that you've worn in past years. Keep an eye on the comments because I'll randomly be choosing a winner later today in time for Halloween, and also keep an eye on my Twitter, at BMF Show, as I'll be announcing the winner in both places later today. Now, on to the video. So you're headed to a Halloween party tonight and you want to bring your quest and scare the crap out of everyone at the party, but what horror game should should you bring. Even though there is still a somewhat limited selection of horror games on the quest, I want to go over each one quickly just so you know what to expect and which one you may want to bring with you to get your friends and family screaming. Let's check in and check them out. First up is Face Your Fears 2. Face Your Fears 2 is a game based around what else? Fears. There are two storylines to follow, both feeding on different fears. The first storyline takes place in the present time, and it's based around creepy crawly scares like spiders and snakes, although there are plenty of other scary things in that story, while the second one is based more around supernatural horror with ghosts and spirits. This game does use smooth motion to move, so it may not be best for those new to VR, but if you can get some people to play through it, then I would recommend starting with the first storyline, as there are some great jump scares to get the shrieks going. Next up, let's talk about zombies. There are two zombie games on the quest. The first one is Drop Dead Dual Strike. Drop Dead Dual Strike is an on-rails shooter much like the old House of the Dead arcade games. There's also a wave-based mode with no movement at all, which is what I recommend for those new to VR. In this mode, you pick a location and you have to shoot and fight against progressively harder waves of undead enemies. I've had a few people new to VR test this mode and they loved it, so I think it's a great game both to show off the quest and get a little horror gameplay in. The other zombie game on the quest is Death Horizon Reloaded, and this game does use motion, either teleportation or smooth movement. In this game, you have to fight your way through a zombie-infested facility. With a recent smooth motion update and the new Halloween update, it's perfect for your Halloween-themed party if you're a zombie lover. Moving away from zombies, let's talk about the Exorcist Legion VR. This is probably the single most scary experience on the quest. Scary enough that I won't play it, which is one reason I didn't play it for Questover this year. In this game, you play as a homicide detective investigating strange murder cases. There are five episodes in the game, each featuring a different case. There are a variety of movement options for the game, so even newcomers should be able to find a comfortable setting. But I warn you, this is a scary game, so watch your headset as it could come flying off at any time. Now let's talk about Richie's Plank Experience. Before you say, that's not a horror experience, let me explain. First of all, it's a ton of fun to watch someone try to walk out onto a plank over the city that is scared of heights. This alone can be scary and fun, but they also recently updated the game with a nightmare mode, which is pretty darn scary. Richie's Plank Experience is a great way to introduce people to VR, as it only requires walking around and no artificial movement. Just remember to bring a plank with you, as that's the best way to experience it. This is probably the easiest and most accessible experience you can show off. If you have kids and want some Halloween fun, Angry Birds VR now has an update called The Revenge of Dr. Frankenswine Out, and that might make some fun Halloween-themed content for the younger audiences. Finally, my personal recommendation if you're looking for a creepy game to bring to a party is Dread Halls. This game oozes creepy atmosphere, and it's simple to play, as it just involves exploring a dark dungeon. It does use smooth motion, so keep that in mind, but this game is scary as heck, and I guarantee you it'll have those of your party quaking in their costumes. I know this is a short list, and there aren't many horror games out yet on the quest, but I hope that this list helps you find a game to scare some people. In fact, if you do bring your quest to a party on Halloween and get some good scares, record it. If I get enough videos, I'll create a compilation video with my favorites. So that brings us to the end of this year's Questober. I can't wait until next year so we can explore more content together and laugh at my wimpiness. Thanks for watching this month, happy Halloween, and happy questing.